Welcome, Ellen, and welcome, Dan. Um, I am just going to get to the presentation here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ellen, and I want to thank you for joining us today. Very exciting um, um, opportunity is, is here for both companies, and um, I'm very proud to uh, to talk about Centrogen. Centrogen is a um, uh, company that just went recently went public. We have <clears throat> laboratories globally and affiliations globally, and we do specialize in genetic and biochemical testing of rare diseases, and in this case, COVID being such a um, um, strong onset and being in a pandemic situation, we went into the COVID testing. We are a CLIA and a CAP accredited laboratory for high complexity genetic testing, and we developed and have our testing under EUA review um, to, to look at the early onset of COVIDs. So we are able to detect very low viral loads and at the very uh, beginning before symptoms uh, develop. When we talk about the testing landscape, the diagnostic that we're doing, we're actually doing a oral pharyngeal swab, which means the, the swab is taken from the mouth, which is a lot less invasive. Uh, we are looking at the genetic <clears throat> uh, viral loads, very low viral loads at the very beginning. So somebody can be asymptomatic. That means they don't have a temperature. They don't have the aches and pains. They don't have flu-like symptoms. Um, and um, we're able to detect if they do have uh, the virus. Um, and these tests are also designed to capture patients that have symptoms and patients that do not have symptoms. And that is the group that we really are looking at is as a, as a preventative measure is is monitoring those patients that are asymptomatic that may be carriers of the virus. So I think that it's, it's, this is a very positive offering that um, OASIS is providing to the schools to ensure the safety of the children, of the workers, and of the families as the children go home. Um, and so it's, it, it, it's also a situation where we're able to produce 10 to 15,000 tests per day. You can see the sampling here. Um, are we have a uh, a, um, an, a a cento swab that we developed? It was validated. We have large numbers of it that we're able to produce. This was actually done through a 3D printing that we were able to do. It is CE labeled. It's listed with the FDA <clears throat> as a Class One exempt device, um, and it is validated with our test. So this is an all in one um, um, process. Everything has been validated to this testing. The testing has been validated to the swab. So everything is cross-referenced and um, is ready. Is it, it, it performs very well. They wouldn't have seen grandma coming at them with a swab. They would not have known that I was doing it. They were very comfortable with it. For the testing, we are able to do uh, 45,000 per week starting August the 1st. And we want you to reserve that time and a commitment to that as we want to make sure that you get your results back as quickly as possible. So by reserving that time, we will put your schools into that queue so we know that the samples are coming and we will put those into processing um, right away. So here comes the uh, important issue of price. Um, what we try to do in this, and uh, in particular, is try to bring down the price of the test. If you look at the price of tests that are in the market right now, most of the at-home tests you can only really do if you have symptoms. And um, uh, there's, a, there's a gatekeeping um, uh, kind of questionnaire that usually goes, and if you manage to get through that gatekeeping questionnaire, and congregate settings is one of those um, um, pieces, then you're going to be charged around $119 to $150 per test. Medicare Part B, um, which reimburses hospitals for high throughput tests, and there's a link here, and you'll be able to get this presentation afterwards to that link, reimburses at the rate of $100. Now, health insurance is required if you have private health insurance to cover uh, tests um, uh, if, uh, um, if you're showing symptoms, obviously, you, know, you have a doctor's order. Um, and so what we have tried to do is bring the test down. And so the price that is going to be offered by Centergene here is $88. 
And our, our um, estimate is that it's going to be around $10 for transportation per test. Um, uh, uh, to add on top of that, that'll go down a little bit uh, if there is more volume. That's for a typical school with 350 tests in, in one batch. So what's the process? And then we'll take some uh, questions um, on this. Um, what we have done is we have set up an application process and I'm gonna show you the application uh, in a minute. That application requires you to um, uh, uh, agree that you understand certain elements of this process. Uh, there is a deposit of $5,000 to be um, essentially part of this program. That is a non-refundable deposit it puts you into a priority list of um, uh, your uh, testing uh, needs being met. Um, half that deposit is immediately sent to Centergene. We keep a half of it. It's obviously creditable uh, against the, um, uh, the orders that you make. If you're a member school of Oasis, you can use that uh, 2,500 that we keep uh, towards pathways and conference registrations, et cetera. If you're not, then you can't. Uh, we need that deposit because we had to build a pipeline and a reservation system to make sure that the capacity that's reserved here, uh, which is significant, is, is not wasted and uh, is not given to other people. Um, the strategy here is essentially that you are probably uh, going to decide whether you're going to be uh, testing employees or students and employees. You're going to be deciding the timing, whether you're, whether you're phasing uh, various different elements or not. Um, you're, you're looking at uh, the logistics. Um, you'll be dispatched the swabs once your orders are confirmed. Then Centergene will organize the delivery logistics with um, couriers that they've been working with for many years. Uh, you're probably going to be surveying the parent body and in the meantime, you're gonna be looking at the impact this will have on your reopening. For the partnership um, uh, uh, piece of our website, you will see a partnership announcement. And if you go to application for school participation, you will see a link, go to that link. And inside that link, you will see this form. Uh, this form asks you for all your information. You can ask questions. It asks you for when your school is currently scheduled to start. You can ask questions or you can show that you understand the process here. There's a lot of detail. Um, and so use this form to either register and apply uh, for your deposit or to ask questions. We've done it this way so that the questions are related to particular areas and we can process this because we think that um, um, many schools are gonna be interested in this. And with that, I'm going to stop sharing 